bunnies can make great, great pets. This one is an excellent example of a very healthy bunny, and um, it's one I've gotten to see a few times for some various issues that we'll talk about. But they can make excellent house pets. They're generally very friendly. They're generally very easy to handle. They can be litter box trained so that they can take care of their own messes. They're not going all over the house. Um, you can also have them in hutches outside. And there's just a few big things that you really want to watch for. The first and foremost is their diet. And it's very, very important of what you feed these guys and girls. So the primary staple of their diet should be a grass hay, preferably like a Timothy hay, easily available at Walmarts and pet stores, any place, especially if you have a store where you bought the money from, they should have this hay available. And you want free choice access to this hay at all times. This is something that they should eat all the time. They're grazers naturally. So that should be the staple of their diet. The next thing that you want to have is a good rabbit pellet. It'll look something like this. Often it's green, they're kind of condensed, very dry, very firm, hard to even break open. And with these, you want to use about an eighth of a cup per five pounds per each rabbit. That's no more than that per day. This is a filler. It should be a good fiber source. It has some vitamins and some nutrients and proteins that they need, but this is what you want to use as a supplement. Then you want to add to that with some good leafy greens. So spinach, kale, um, things like squashes and their blossoms are good to use as well. This has a lot of vitamin C and vitamin A in it. It's good for their digestive system. And for those, you can use about a cup of greens per rabbit um, per day. Actually, it's about a cup of greens per four pounds. And most, at, most rabbits will be adult size like this, will be somewhere in that neighborhood. So about a cup per day. And then you can give them little treats, so, so small amounts of fruits, very sweet things, so strawberries and apples and little bites like that. Cut up small so they can eat them. So on, on the fruits, no more than about two tablespoons per day. They don't need a lot of these. These are treats. They're not things that they would probably naturally eat a whole lot in the wild, but it does help with some of their digestion, and the acids in there can help with some of their stomach issues as well. So diet is a huge thing, and it transitions into something that's very important for their health. Rabbits have to eat. Um, if they're not eating, that is one of the first signs that something's really wrong with them and you need to take them in to see their veterinarian. Um, it is something that their digestive tract cannot handle going multiple days without food to the point that they can get sick and, and even it can be fatal.